In my last video, I did a time lapse of a scene I was working on for a client, and in it there were some muzzle flashes. Today I'm going to show you how I made them. First things first, what I do is I go to Google and I just search for muzzle flash. And then it's always important to use tools, color, and transparent. That way it's easy to work with. I believe this is the very one I used. So you can go ahead and download it and get it into Blender. I use this one, but you'll need more than just one. So this is good for a side profile. And this one would be good for a back or a base profile. This one's also good for side profile. And here's another decent one for the base profile. Again, you can pick out your own, or if you have your own way of gathering images, I assume that going through Google isn't the best way to go about this. Next, go to your Blender scene. You want to start by Shift A, Mesh, and a Plane. Now that you have a plane, you want to texture it. So open a shader editor. And I press N to get that thing to go away. Now, go into Material or Rendered View. I'm going to stay in Material and give this plane a new material. I'm going to call this Flash Side. And we're going to keep this default layout with the principal BSDF, but we're going to add a few things to it. First, an image texture. By the way, if you don't know how I'm doing this, it's Shift A to bring up the Add menu, and then S to search. We're going to open our image texture that we downloaded. Okay, I like this one. We'll work with this. So, as you can see, this is a transparent image we downloaded. I know for a fact that it is. But, as you can see, the image plane is not transparent. To fix this, we need to do a few things. First, drag the alpha node into the alpha channel of the BSDF shader. And now this is doing some really weird stuff. If you go into rendered view, it looks mostly fine. But if we're using Eevee, which I assume a lot of you may want to do since it's such a great engine, we have the same problem. So to fix this, we go to the Material tab, we go to Settings, and we change the Blend Mode to either of these. You can pick your favorite, as long as it's not opaque. Alpha Clip is fine for me, and Alpha Clip for Shadow. You may notice that this is very harsh, and this will work for some things but not others. So in the case of a muzzle flash, alpha clip isn't the best. Alpha hashed or alpha blend seem to be the same. It's really up to you. I'm going to stay as alpha blend and shadow will be alpha hashed. Actually, they'll both be alpha hashed. I don't really see a difference. Oh, wait. Yeah, there is a difference here. Is this? So you can see with alpha hash, there's like a graininess to the image. If you change it to alpha blend, that goes away. So I prefer Alpha Blend. I've also noticed in that previous render where I used these muzzle flashes, they were all set to Alpha Hashed and there were some issues with them colliding with the volumetrics. It looked a little funny and I believe switching this to Alpha Hashed, or sorry, I believe switching this to Alpha Blend will fix that issue. Uh, I'll put it up on screen, you can see what I'm talking about. Next, the muzzle flash is obviously supposed to glow. So to do that, we'll take color and drag it into emission. And there we go, that's a muzzle flash, but it's 2D, so let's fix that. First, let's scale this plane. As you can see, the muzzle flash is a bit taller than it should be, not quite as long. So we'll scale it on X and stretch it out to whatever looks good. Next, we'll duplicate it and then rotate it on X 90 degrees. Now our muzzle flash is starting to take shape. We'll take both planes, rotate them on X about 45 degrees. And then we need to add one more plane. Add mesh plane. This I'm going to rotate 90 degrees on the Y axis. And I'm going to move it on X to be at the base of the muzzle flash. About here. It will cross the textures a little bit, but that's okay. That's what we want. Next, you need to give this some material as well. I'm going to call this muzzle base. And we're going to do the same thing. Add a texture node. 
Oh, uh, sorry. Add an image node. And open the preferred texture. Once you've added your new texture, make sure again you come down to the material tab and scroll down to settings and make sure it's alpha blend and or alpha hashed and the shadow mode is alpha hashed. This way the transparencies will work in EV. This one I'm going to rotate about 45 degrees on X. Just so the texture kind of works. Again, you can use any texture you want and make it look however you want in that sense. And just mess with the rotations and the number of planes, of course. Now to finish off this, I'm going to scale it up a bit. Maybe rotate it arbitrarily on X. And give it the emission we need. Okay, I think this looks pretty good, but you may notice this is more of a yellow kind of flash, while the other flash is more orange. You want all of these to be the same color, roughly. So to fix this, we're going to add a hue slash saturation node, and that's going to go in after color from the image node, and we're going to drag that to base color and emission. Now we can play with the hue a little bit. Keep in mind that this is really sensitive. You should work by increasing or decreasing by 0 0.05 at a time. That was the wrong direction. Let's decrease this to 0 0.45. And that's a bit too much. So let's bring it back a bit. 0.75. And that looks close enough to me, but you can continue to play with this as well as the other values. Of course, you can do the same thing for this material, but so far, I say this is a pretty good looking muzzle flash. I select all of them, with the base being the primarily selected plane, and I do Control and J to bring it into one object. There you go, there's your muzzle flash.